Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm honored and blessed to speak before these great women in this place. My name is Olatunji Bukola. I am a physical and digital asset trader. The name of my company called Pharma Smart Global Limited, Nigeria, and also CEO of Pharma Smart Venture Ghana. This afternoon, I have this thing that I think is very important that everybody needs to know. This thing we call blockchain technology. There has been a lot of debate about blockchain technology and there has been a lot of discussions. Meanwhile, many people that are contributing to this word, blockchain technology, probably many people don't even have deep knowledge about how it works. Because the first thing that many people think about when we talk about blockchain technology is, oh, it's online. And it's like we are developing a kind of a trade for online. They say, oh, online, no, 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 anything online, no, 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 no. It's a scam. That word is very common in Nigeria, where I came from. They say, it's a scam. No, 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 don't go there. But I want us to know today that before something can call fake, definitely original is somewhere standing. If they say something is a scam, just have it in your mind that genuine one is somewhere. So if you don't look for it, you may not get it. So it is now our responsibility to look for it. How do we look for it? We try to get more knowledge about what it is. So quickly, I will say little things about blockchain technology. Blockchain is a digital record of transactions. The name comes from its structure in which individual record called blocks are linked together in a single list called a chain. It's like something standing now holding another thing, holding another thing, holding another thing, and they all join together. It's just like that. That is the simplest way of bringing, of, of talking about blockchain. Now, some people are scared of, oh, what of hackers? Can they hack, manipulate this system? Can they do something? But let me tell you, like I was telling somebody yesterday, that Fine, there are hackers, but hackers don't just go to say, I want to hack. They start from, I want to have the knowledge of how to, how to defend a particular project, a system, so that hackers will not come in. And that is where they started. So, when we are talking about this blockchain, Nobody can have access or do something without the consent of others. So it is very difficult. And in blockchain, I can see something we call check and balancing. Because, you know, in a company, if one person is the secretary, that person is the, oh no, don't, let me, don't just let me go there. Let's say one person is an accountant and that accountant is the one to receive money He's the one to take it to the bank. He's the one to check whether the money has gotten to the bank. He's the one to withdraw. He's the one to sign the check. Anything can happen. There is no check and balancing. But in blockchain technology, there is check and balancing. It's not possible for somebody to just do something on its own without the consent of others. So, we call it a decentralized 
and distributed an often public digital ledger consisting of records called blocks. It's a decentralized system. With this decentralization, you are in power, in full control of whatever you are having in blockchain technology. You are in total control. If you want to, like in my country, if you want to send money out of Nigeria to another country, you have limits. Government determines how much you can send out. Even if you want to withdraw now, there is limits now. You can't just say, because I'm having one billion in my account, I now say I want to withdraw 20 million at a time. If your account has not been upgraded to that level, you won't be able to do that. So that means you have a kind of process, steps that you have to take. So you are not 100% in control of what you do. But in blockchain technology, you are in total control of your assets that you are having in blockchain. So the best part of this, the best part is that we can actually have a look at the blockchain and see evidence of where blockchain has value. In financial aspects, blockchain has value in trading, equity, fixed income, payments, KYC, peer-to-peer, -peer, compliance reporting, trade reporting, visualization, betting, and prediction markets. Blockchain did not only add value in financial aspects, but also in insurance, that is in claim filing, digital authentication, and asset management. In medical, it also had value in record sharing. I was sharing my experience with somebody just this afternoon when I went for COVID-19 um, vaccine. There was a man that came from Egypt. So he wanted, uh, he wanted to take, I think, the third one. So the man got to where he wanted to take the vaccine. And he said, I've taken two. They were asking me which type. He said, I don't know. They said, okay, bring your card. So the man brought out his card and they just scanned his card. Lo and behold, everything about this man just came up. And they were telling the man, okay, you took the first one to so-so place, so-so dates. This is the type you took. So that means with blockchain, this is power of blockchain. I won't deceive you. It is very difficult for this man to say, I have taken why he has not taken. So if we also can adopt this blockchain, I can tell you categorically that everything will be more, more easier for us. And the life will be much more easier. Because even in our government, if they are also looking into it, they are looking at a way of reg regulating it so that they can be in total control. They can also have their own shares. That is the many. They can have their own shares. So they are also looking into it and see how best they can carry people along about this. So blockchain is being used in so many areas. We said blockchain is a type of diary and spreadsheets because of the time. So please, let's go to the next, to the next one. Okay. This is a brief history of blockchain. Blockchain has the potential to grow, to be a bedrock of the worldwide record keeping system. It was created by the unknown persons behind Bitcoin. There are some people that will say, ah, Bitcoin, no, 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 no. I don't want to do anything. I don't want, da, 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 da. I don't want to hear. Mm. But the truth of the matter is, there is no how we talk about blockchain. We will not talk about Bitcoin. So, under the name Satoshi Nakamoto, the engine that runs the Bitcoin, known, you are moving faster. I'm not sure with the, with the other part. There is something I want to bring out there. So, the previous page, I think. Yeah, thank you. The engine that runs the Bitcoin ledger that Nakamoto designed is called the blockchain. Can you see the reason why we cannot talk about blockchain without, without talking about 
Bitcoin. The original and largest bit blockchain is the one that still orchestrates Bitcoin transactions to today. So we cannot talk about blockchain without talking about Bitcoin. In 1991, a cryptographical secure chain of blocks whereby no one could tamper with timestamps of documents is described for the first time by Stout Harbor and Scott Stonetter. In 1998, computer scientist Nick Sabo works on BitGold, a decentralized digital currency. So let's move to 2000. So in 2008, developers working under the name Satoshi Nakamoto released a white paper establishing the model for a blockchain. In 2009, Nakamoto impl implements the first blockchain as the public ledger for transactions made using block Bitcoin blockchain 1.0. In 2014, Blockchain technology is separated from the currency. Some people will say, I don't, want to, I, I don't want to hear about Bitcoin. That's volatile digital currency. I don't want to have anything to do with it. But the truth of the matter is, you can be in, in control of blockchain without doing anything with Bitcoin. Because blockchain is a system, is a platform. So, if you choose not to do anything about currency, you can leave it aside and pick the one that you think is suitable for you, that you think is okay for your business, that you think is okay for yourself. So, let's move on, please. So, it is not compulsory that you must, it's not a must. You can do without Bitcoin. You can do without digital currency. But here, I would like to talk about digital assets. You can have many land and landed properties everywhere. But as we are moving into digitalization globally, we should also find a way of building our digital assets to be updated in the world financial economy. How do I mean? In this digital asset, as we can aspire to say, I want to have acres of land somewhere as an asset, some people believe if I, had not, if I had not have about 20 mansions, people will not know that I'm a big person. But in a real sense, you can have digital assets that are worth much more than 20 mansions, and yet you are just there enjoying yourself. Nobody will know your worth. And nobody will even chase after you. That is the power of digital assets. And buying and holding of digital assets and patiently waiting for price to growth, for, the, for price growth over a period of time, especially during bearish season, there are very good way of making money through digital assets which includes staking, minting, and farming. I want somebody to say staking, staking, minting, and farming. I'm very sure out of these three words, we are all familiar with farming. Everybody knows about what farming is. Okay, is it not to dig a ground, put something there, and harvest? Uh, but this farming I'm talking about is different from that one. This one is a digital one. You don't need to take hole and cut glass and start digging the ground before you farm in digital world. Because the whole thing is going digital. And we must not stay behind and say, let them continue. That is part of what we have been talking about since yesterday. That anywhere we should also stand to be there, we should, we should be there and see what is going on and see the way we can also have our own shares. So in 
In staking, we have Mether Network. This Mether Network is a network that gives everybody that participates, they have their own blockchain. I'm still going to talk about the blockchain because that is the basis. And that is where we also, that is, that, that is where we also run away. When it gets to it, 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 things like this, we run away to say, ah, mm -mm, this one is past my knowledge. No, I'm going to bring it down for us. So in Meta Network, with their experienced blockchain experts and active blockchain explorer that allow every stakers to hand between 150% to 500% within 365 days, All right. depending, depending on your capacity. And in Minting, we have Zenic Minting Hub, which stands the only genuine minting company operating on their home blockchain and explorer globally by Zenic company. You, we can also try to check more for more information about all these all this things so that we can really benefit from it because of time. So Zenic Minting Hub is a digital asset. A time that, up, please. Sorry, I have to say this so that you can run them. Okay. Yes. And lastly, we have FAMI, a very good platform to do this is called Hanima Farm. We can check these three places. We can look for Meta Network, look for Zenic Minting Hub, and look for Hanima Farm to see how we can really benefit from all this. All these digital asset companies were operating on their own blockchain and have their own explorer, which makes them unique and genuine. And lastly, Now, the future, <laughs> okay, the future appeal of digital assets lies in allowing you to have the ultimate control over your money with fast, secure global transactions and lower transaction fees when compared to all existing currency, not only currency, but even existing system. When used properly and fully understand, it will be initiate, in, initiator of many emerging systems that will fundamentally change our global economy system. Women, as a strong vessel, let us utilize blockchain technology to boost our financial status. Please, let's write it down. Blockchain, farming, Staking, minting. Let's do more research about all this. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Bukola. I don't know if they... Do you have any question for her? Okay. Can we please give her a microphone for question? Thank you. Hi, ma'am. Thank you so much for your presentation. Um, I, 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 I wanted to ask about the tools to start. And my question comes from, in, in South Africa, there's a lot of people that talk about blockchain, Bitcoin, trading, and NFTs, which is a new one now. Um, but you never know which one is fake and which one is pushing fraud because there are people who actually do it for the sake of making money. So in South Africa, people will come to you, educate you about such assets, um, but you'd have to pay like 10,000 rands um, as a membership fee with the promise that we will trade on your behalf 
or we would educate you on um, these digital assets. So I wanted to find out because obviously then there comes a point where you are thinking which one is fraud, which route should I take and I agree with you that we shouldn't be left behind. This is the technology that we should actually be empowered to use and have these digital assets and know exactly how to utilize them. So I agree with you 100%. I'm on Luno. Um, I don't know if Luno is global but it's an app but I, I still don't understand it. I'm trying to understand how it works. And I think the education around blockchain, te blockchain technology is also very minimal. So I wanted to ask you, what digital tools, where should we go? Which sites are actually credible for us to start to learn and also to, to start um, trading, I would say. Thank you. Thank you. The first tool I will recommend is your mindset. Have it in your mind. I want to know this thing. That's number one. Number two, for any system you want to be part of, do your findings and make sure they have their own blockchain. Whoever that is introducing you to anything, ask them, are they operating on their own personal blockchain? If they say yes, can I see? Can I get the link to check? Can I get their explorer? Is their explorer active? If it is not active, ma, don't go there. There are many out there. They will promise you heaven and not. They will tell you in so 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 day, this is the armor. It's a lie. It's a lie. They will take away your money. But the best way to go is are they real? Where are they from? Is their blockchain active? Let me see. Give me the link. Let me check. Do the research yourself. Don't allow anybody to be in control of your money. Because even if you do that, probably after two days, your assets may worth like times 10 of what you put there. They will tell you, ah, madam, thank, thank God, congratulations. It's just two days. Can you imagine? You're having 5% on your assets. Meanwhile, you have 100%, even 1,000% already. So, don't give anybody access to that. If they introduce you to any platform, ask all these questions. Where is their explorer link let me check whether it is active and this is how you know if it is active you will see all the transaction that has been going on in that on that platform you will see everything since the inception of that uh, blockchain you will see everything till the last second you will see everything so then you will know it is active it's not the one that they will give you they will say in 2014 Something has happened. And since then, they will now say they are trying to, nothing like trying to, mm -mm. so be in total control. So look, look yourself. You have to make up your mind. I want to know this thing. And secondly, make sure you do your findings. And these are the things to look up to. Thank you. I think I've answered your question. All right. Any other question? Okay. I think we'll be done with these two questions for now. Uh, I just have a question regarding um, the legal framework behind blockchain. I know that most of the time when we're having blockchain conversations, one of the pushbacks, especially for us as women, is you know we're very scared about financial conversations and when it becomes technical and all of that, we're, we're a little more on the edge. But I know that there has been quite a lot of pushback in terms of you know implementing and accepting blockchain. What are some of the methods that, in your opinion, that we can use to push for more um, you know, for people to, at least for countries or different financial institutions to at least take on um, some of these, 
should I say, not the digital coins only, but what are some of the ways that we can push for more acceptance for blockchain? And then in terms of that, um, how do we create a platform where more persons like yourself and women who have actually used and proven, have, have shown proven track, uh, at least a track of success with blockchain can share some of these stories so that other persons or other women can hop on board. Thank you. In regard, uh, in the aspect of the legal backup, I will say, because we are here, I'm from Nigeria, and Nigeria is yet to adopt this. They are also looking for a way to regulate. And because of that, I'm very sure that we have different policy that back blockchain technology from our various country. But this is what I know. While they are doing their own research, let us also start our own. How do we start our own? If you know anybody that proves that he knows, you can bring the person up. Try to, I, 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 I train people even online. I have many people and I have some elderly people. If they tell them, mommy, something, something is happening, they will say to me, Buki, you see what I, I sent to you? Please, help me check. Is it true? Many at times I will say, mommy, go and rest. Once I say, mommy, go and rest, there is no way. It's no go area. But the one that I know that is real, once I do my own due diligence, I do my research, I will say, oh, mommy, this is awesome. Please, do it. I also want to do it. And that is how to go about it. So if you know anybody, you can search for it online. But let me prepare your mind. While you are searching online, as you are seeing some people that are giving you real story, you see some people that will give you fake story. Have it in mind. Any story they are giving you must be backed up with evidence that you yourself can sit down and search yourself. Right, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you.